who is the hero of our tale. Then let his destiny unfold. Yuck. Well, I hear that's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Filthy creep. I hate him. Oh, he's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I have travelled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Do you know what I like about Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. Whoa, have you seen that thing over there? We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon, but you have an inkling, don't you? 
Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to do something. Oi, kids, come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. The warrants blew off in that direction. Through the alley by that bloke with the picture box. So, we look out for those warrants, but for now, let's find some more money. It's a good day when you get strong armed by I love you more than words can tell. Worms, Monty. No words. Oh, oh everything, everything seems wonderful, wonderful when you're poems. in love. I shall write a poem about this for my Belinda. So mother doesn't hear. Your mother is an accursed cow. What? I didn't <coughs> hear you. I said your mother is an accursed cow. You say something, Belinda. Oh no, it was just the. My oh, spirit soar towards the sun. I'm sorry, my love. You'll have to be quieter than that. This town would be so much nicer without people like Arthur around. Oh, my little dove. Any medium would... The warrants are around here... Astonish your friends and relatives with a live instant image. <laughs> Pull the other one. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm, I only have one gold left. But you're right. I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? That Murgo always trying to pawn off his rubbish on. Go on. Help out an up-and-coming entrepreneur, will you? They're evil critters. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, oh, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. Hmm. That was somewhat lacking in... Well, it was... Oh, just plain nasty, I'm afraid. But I only have one sheet of magic paper, so it'll have to do. Now, I 
just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. That was fun. And we've got our first gold coin. Huh? Oh, well, I don't have to understand everything, I suppose. We have to find more ways to make some gold. We have to. <laughs> you should know better than that. Brilliant! That's great, little sparrow. Hmm. <laughs> it's all upside It's down. okay, sparrow. How utterly confounding. That's so wonderful. Leave in, mongrel. This is it's Come good. on. We should take Rick's a look. Rick's caught a dog, and he's gonna kick the ha! You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Sock me right in the head. Glad to be that rest. He deserves Thanks for your help. I could have taken him though. Glad to be that rest. He deserved it. Smile like a hero or something. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. It won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. <laughs> Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. Can I be your friend? <laughs> That's one there. Well, we have a... Yes, another warrant. Hmm, I don't think they'll miss this Leroy if they see him. Need help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of... Uh... Beatles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those hideous vermin ever can suffer. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Hey, kid. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname's behalf. Oh, 
trap. Do you know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this, kid. That was a massacre. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Now I think about it, I wonder how those beetles got in there. Wow. I didn't know you were so good at fighting. And we've got another gold coin. do what I want with it. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight, even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps, like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. Come on, help an old man out. So you bring me back my bottle? Yes! Ugh, no. You'll find it and bring it to me, won't you, children? Let's find this magpie guy. Looks like a warrant, doesn't it? There's that dog again. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Oh, I know. You're sweet. But I told you before, we can't keep you. Come on, little sparrow. Wait. Why do you say slowly? Would you let me quickly kill myself? That was the best fight ever! That must be Magpie. And there's the bottom. If that's someone playing a prank, you'll be sorry. Private party, bagger off. Ugh, why don't you come back when we're not sleeping for a change? Oh, hello? Who was there? I'm asleep.
Buzz off, I'm trying to have a kit. I won't let you slowly kill yourself. Wait! Why'd you say slowly? Only one more warrant left Would you time. let me quickly Try kill myself? I like playing with my toys. I'll not discuss it. That must be Magpie. Get it, little Sparrow, but don't wake him up. Oh, don't, don't call me a thief. No, my name is Magpie. Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. Slowly kill yourself. Hey, the quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids, look out for the wagon. Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. Give me the wine. No, don't. Give it to me. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. I used to be an accountant. <laughs> Don't drink, it'll ruin your life. What? <laughs> you admit oh. it. Um, I guess I do. From this day forth, I shall stay sober and return to my career as a tax and pensions consultant. Hello. Oh, you I'm poor a sweet man. Little boy. Sure, you don't want the bottle? Well done. You probably saved his life. And that's three gold coins now. Just two more and we can buy the... Stop right there, you little brats. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. A gold's a gold, I guess. If you want the money right what now, you think you're you'd give him the gold. Have you found them? Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's your gold piece. That's to sort out this town. Four coins. We just need one more. I need to be able to speak freely with you at normal volume. Shh. I think Mother heard yes. you again. I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. What's the matter with you? Oh, 
Oh, little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like... like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. You kids can do it. I know you can. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. <laughs> This letter's awful. Listen to this. Darling, <laughs> run away with me. Like two doves, we shall rise on love's gentle breeze to soar above the world in our bliss, <laughs> forever embracing in the clouds. Yeah. What? I said, oh, it's a bit over the top, isn't it? Knock on the door and let's see who answers. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. Oh, Monty told us not to give it to the mother. But then, if we give it to Belinda upstairs, maybe they can run away Please, together. Please, you have to go. Well, that this must is be wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. I guess some people's wishes do come true. We did it. We can buy the music box now. Come on, let's go buy that music box. I'm leaving, Mother. I'm I can't wait to, to see what it can I do. Love. What? Oh, Monty, I love you. No, you don't! He's poor! Oh, Mother, you're such a shrew. That's why Father left you, and you can't get another man. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Oh, now you're taking her side. What? No. Well, maybe you should marry her instead. But you're my one true love. Without you, there are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence, um, my little dove. Hello, children. Hello. We've come to buy the music box. Very wise, little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish. I wish. But where 
Where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. To settle down. There's a nice uh, angry stray dog. Quiet boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little sparrow, wake up. It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you, I promise. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Ha, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it. And we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Children, it's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To 
to live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. Nothing to worry about. Go on, stand at the sun. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. <laughs> 